Hello and welcome to Autodesk Inventor 2013. In this tutorial we're going to go over drawing and assembling a nutcracker. First thing we're going to do, because this is a large assembly, is we're going to start a new project file. So I'm going to come up here and click on the new icon. And instead of picking one of these parts, I'm going to click on projects. Now in projects here, we're going to set up a new project. Now make sure your project is saved to your account. If it's not saved to your account, you're not going to be able to find it again. So I'm going to go New, and I want a new single user project. Next, project name, Nutcracker. And where am I going to save it? Well, users, here's my documents inventor if this is too long we can just come back there's my account and I'm gonna maybe let's make a new folder in my account there we go and we'll rename that to nutcracker like so there we go and okay so now all of my project stuff is going to be stored in user burrows nutcracker and yours will be in whatever your account is but just make sure it's not in library or on the data drive that it is in your account so I click next it's all good so finish so there we go now make sure there's a check beside it but my current project is the nutcracker project save yeah and done so now from now on everything that I do for this assembly will be done inside of Nutcracker. So first thing, let's make a standard IPT part. Now we should be using English. So let's double click on English. And now standard inch IPT. There we go. And that's going to open up the new file here. Let's just maximize that. The first part of this is going to be the base. And by this point you should be pretty good at drawing this sort of thing. Well, let's start a new sketch on that plane and we're going to use dynamic input for this. So I'm going to start at 0, 0 and I want to make a rectangle that is 11 inches long so I type 11, I hit the tab key and I want to make it 3 inches high so at 3 and I hit the enter key We'll zoom out there and you can see I've got my rectangle and it's pre-dimensioned. Perfect, exactly what I wanted. So finish sketch. There we go. So from here I'm going to extrude. So I'm going to extrude this out half an inch, so 0.5 and okay. So there's the basic rectangle for my base. Now we're going to add a little bit of a feature here. We're going to use the chamfer tool and I want to chamfer around three of the edges just to give it a little a little bit of style there. We could go to a bigger chamfer if we wanted. There we go, a little larger and check mark. So you can see I've got a nice chamfer going all the way around. The next step on this is to make the mounting holes on the bottom. So these holes are going to have bolts going through them, bolting on the different features of the nutcracker. So let's look at the bottom of our piece and create sketch on the bottom. There we go. Just check. There are tapers. Okay. So our tapers on this side here. So we're going to start from the tapered side. We're going to use the point tool. So I click on point and I'm going to come down make a point there you can see a purple line showing up we'll make another one there go into the middle set a four in the middle and two more at the far side now we've got to make sure these are all even so we could use collinear and oh no not collinear we can use horizontal and make sure they're all horizontal so those ones are horizontal. Now let's do the bottom row. Like so. 
and then go vertical. Make sure they're vertical this way. There we go. Now we can start adding some dimensions. So I grab my dimension tool from here to here. I want that to be one inch, so just one enter. And from here to here, I want that to be one inch. So if you see, all the other dots or center points moved with that dimension. From here to here, I'm going to make that one as well. From here to the edge, we'll make that five. And the next one, we'll make that 1.5. Oops, that's not right. We'll make that 6.5. There we go. And the last one, we're going to make half inch from this edge. So general dimension, and we have half inch to start. It's good. So there are all of our holes are laid out. We don't have to worry about these ones because the constraints that we laid set those to the right spots. So finish sketch. You can see all my holes there. And, or my center points, we're going to make them into holes. So I click on hole, and we're going to be using countersink. So I click on that. Just leave this alone. That's by default the correct size. And quarter inch hole. So we're going to use quarter inch bolts when we get there. And we're going to hit OK. And you can see we've got a series of holes. And they've got, if we zoom in, a nice countersink so we can have a bolt that countersinks in. This is the bottom of the nutcracker. So if we had a bolt sticking out, it's, the nutcracker is going to sit on the bolts, and we don't want that. So because it's a large assembly, I'm always a fan of adjusting the colors of the parts so everything's a different color. It makes stuff stand out a little better. So I'm going to go here, default. And I'm just going to pick a color. There's a set of flat colors or smooth colors here. And those are the easiest to see. So let's make the base purple. There we go. And now we're going to save this part. And you can see by default, because we're in the project, Nutcracker project, we've went to that Nutcracker folder. And we're going to call this base. And we'll save that. There we go. That's the end of part one.